Hey everybody, Home Slice Henry here, and welcome back to some more Great League Spice. In today's video, we are taking a look at Shadow Quagsire. And Quagsire does have a rather interesting moveset. It has Stone Edge and Earthquake, so it has double nuke moves. But if there was ever a Pokemon to have double nuke moves, you would want it to be a Pokemon with Mudshot, which Quagsire does have, which generates energy incredibly quickly. And this battler pairs it with a Shadow Machamp lead and Melmetal on the safe swap, and honestly goes on a rather impressive run. Shadow Quagsire with the double nuke moves. Obviously, it's not going to be spamming out moves as quickly as some Pokemon, but it can hit incredibly hard. So let's hop into these battles and take a look at the team. Picking up a great lead to start. They're going to save swap into Defense Deoxys. Unfortunately, they don't have a good response for Defense Deoxys. So, comes in with the Shadow Quagsire, going for the Earthquake. Let's see how much this does. <laughs> no! <laughs> what? Oh my goodness! And they go for a Thunderbolt, which is, of course, going to be single resisted. But that's a Defense Deoxys. Its whole thing is it has a crazy high defense stat. And that Earthquake did so much damage. You are lying right now. Shields up the Quagsire twice. And tries to farm down. And has a decent amount of energy here. So should be able to expend a decent amount of energy. Alright, going for the Stone Edge. If this lands, it's going to do absolutely huge damage. Unfortunately, does get the shield. Can they get to the second Stone Edge? Oh, they can. Okay, this is big. This should be able to pressure that last shield, which is fantastic. And then they are going to bring in the Melmetal, and they have a Meganium in the back. Unfortunately, Meganium is going to be able to hit for super effective with the Earthquake, but hopefully Melmetal can get off two Rock Slides before it gets there. Oh, actually going for a Super Power the second time around. I actually do like this play, because Super Power is going to do extra damage, and now hopefully that Earthquake should 100% KO. Takes them out. They come in with the Shadow Machamp, they counter down. The Obama Snow comes in and unfortunately cannot get to the Energy Ball that they would have needed to KO. And the Shadow Machamp able to close out the game. So as you can see in game one, Shadow Quagsire, if it can land a charge move, oh my goodness. Terrible lead in game two. Safe swapping into the Melmetal and baiting out a Stunfish. This is a really nice matchup because two superpowers I believe is enough to KO. So he can hopefully do a decent amount of damage as well as force a shield from the Stunfisk. Second superpower does get the shield and the Stunfisk throws. This is huge. At this point, you definitely let this go. And then you fully counter down with Machamp. So that way you have a stone edge to throw at Altaria. Charge move coming through. I think he's just short of the Earthquake. Shields it up. It is a Rock Slide. Okay, so I believe he was just short of the Earthquake. But the nice thing is, is he has a huge energy lead over the Altaria. So now he's going to be able to get to the two rock slides, an absolutely beautiful example of using your safe swap to get shield advantage and then energy advantage on your lead Pokemon to help flip that lead matchup. Rock slide comes through, that does so much damage, they throw the sky attack, at this point you just let this go and you come in with the sire. It's quagsire time, they have an Azumarill in the back. And we'll see how much an earthquake does to Azumarill. Azumarill is famously very tanky as well. Oh, that does a lot. Okay, I see you, Shadow Quagsire. And from here, you can probably get away with just building up to the Stone Edge. It's going to be very close, but Mudshot is a crazy good fast move. There's a reason why so many of the most popular picks in the Great League right now, whether it's Swampert, Politoed, among quite a few others, all run Mudshot because Mudshot is so incredibly strong. Azumarill lead, this is not a great lead for the Shadow Machamp by any means. Shadow Machamp is so frail that they are going to have to expend a shield, so they're going to shield up the Ice Beam, building up quite a bit of extra energy, and going for the Rock Slide. Rock Slide comes through, that lands, and going for a Cross Chop, maybe the opponent has lost count and think it is a Rock Slide, which they did, and now going to swap into Melmetal to tank whatever the Azu throws. This could be a Hydro Pump. If it's a Hydro Pump, this is going to be big pain, and it's the Hydro Pump. Oh, that is rough. Can they Thundershock down, though? Oh, they can Thundershock down. Okay, this is big. And now it's going to be able to go for the back-to-back -back superpowers versus the Umbreon, and this is going to be doing an absolute ton of damage. And the nice thing is, is this is going to lower the defense so the Umbreon gets less farm when snarling down. And now you can pretty safely come back in with the Shadow Machamp, 
they're throwing here on one HP. I think you definitely just let this go, and it's just a foul play, so can survive it anyway. That's absolutely huge. It's Galvantula in the back, and here's where Quagsire is ready to absolutely go to town. Quagsire shields it up. It is just the lunge, so no energy ball there, thankfully enough, and two stone edges are going to be enough to take it out. The first one, of course, just to get the shield, and the second one to finish the job. Unfortunately, a lunge gets through with the two lunges debuffing the attack. I'm pretty sure that Stone Edge should still KO at that point. Ooh, we'll have to see. This will be close, and it is enough to take it out. Okay, let's go. I'll be honest, I should have had faith in Quagsire there. Hopping into the next match and picking up an amazing lead versus a Bastodon. They safe swap Scrafty, so my guess is, is they're probably double weak to fighting and then have a hard punish to a fighter in the back whether that's a flyer like Skarmory or a psychic like Hypno. The nice thing is, is he can actually stay in to this matchup with Scrafty because this team actually has three Bastodon counters. So this is like a triple anti-Bastodon team. So it's going to do very well no matter the alignment. So totally fine to let that go and mud shot down with Quagsire. And there's the Hypno right on cue. Let's see how much this, this Earthquake does to Hypno. I am excited. Here we go. Oh, come on. And they shield it. You are the destroyer of fun. Ooh, caught onto Melmetal. Nice catch there. It is a Thunder Punch. Bastodon comes back. But Bastodon is not going to have a good day with all these superpowers out here. Oh, no. Poor Bastodon. We hardly knew ye. Get absolutely super powered to your wall face. Let's go. <laughs> Bastodon goes down. Hypno is going to come back in and able to get to the rock slide, which is absolutely huge as this is going to be applying some chip damage. And from here, I'm very confident that an earthquake is going to be enough to take them out. Charge move coming through. The question is, does Hypno has a decent amount of energy? Going for the Thunder Punch and goes for the Stone Edge there. Had the energy for the Earthquake. Earthquake's definitely the way to go there. Good news is Stone Edge, even without stabs, still enough to take it out. Gotta respect the Quagsire. Let's go. All right. So Lead Bastodon safe swaps into Sableye. So this team is probably either a Metacham in back, being Zionix line, or a Venusaur in the back. And it's a variant of, I believe, though, Tacticals line. Going to let this go as Melmetal can tank a foul play. And they're at another one. I actually like letting this go here because he has three Bastard on counter. Switch isn't super important. He can come in with the Machamp, farm down, and get a ton of energy. Let's see what they do have in the back. And it is a Venusaur going for the bait. Ooh, this is a risky one. Come on, get the shield, get the sh Okay, got the shield, that's huge. And now gonna be able to get the rock slide. Really has to take this out because Quagsire does not want to see this Venusaur. Oh, Venusaur farms down, this is really bad. Can Quagsire mud shot down this Venusaur? I need to see it. Shields up the Frenzy Plant. They do bring in the Bastodon. Quagsire is going to outpace the Bastodon, of course. Get into the Earthquake. This has to one hit KO, right? <laughs> it does and then he mud shots down quagsire is a venusaur counter confirmed another fantastic lead in ferrothorn picking up some great leads in set number one and they counter with a hariyama save swap whoa that is cool i'll be honest that's pretty dope and can actually stay in here just because melmetal also has a pretty good matchup against ferrothorn Shields up the dynamic punch and able to get off a cross chop. Unfortunately, it looked like a counter did go through there. So that's a little rough, but able to take out the Hariyama. Ferrothorn comes back in. Oh, and farms down. Unfortunately, for the Ferrothorn, they're like, well, we got rid of the fighter. In comes Melmetal. <laughs> Melmetal's like, oh, word. You, you thought we were done with the fighting damage? No, we are not. This is probably going to be a Thunder, I would imagine. Oh no, they have Power Whip Flash Cannon. You hate to see it. Either that or or they could have Power Whip Mirror Shot, but either way, not Thunder. Thunder is going to be the move to go for there if you have it, and it looks like they do not. Able to land the Super Power. Probo Pass in the back, and they just auto-quit when they see the Quagsire. 
Let's go. Lucario picking up a ton of steel leads. Meganium safe swap met with the Melmetal. Again, we have seen this matchup. The thing you really have to watch for, of course, is going to be that Earthquake. Earthquake is going to be very rough. They throw early. This is a Frenzy Plant, is it not? So actually does decide to shield it up. Melmetal is pretty frail, but definitely could have survived that Frenzy Plant. Going for another Rock Slide. Does get the shield and they go for another frenzy plant all right you definitely should be going eq here i would imagine because as you can see can safely tank it but oh never mind then i guess you can also win in the ones going straight frenzy plant interesting i did not know that that is actually some super useful information here i was out here blaspheming the poor meganium user going straight frenzy plant and and they had the cheat codes all along <laughs> my apologies there all right going for ooh a cross chop bait i like the bait here i'm expecting a shield gets the shield that is big and now they're gonna have to shield their own of course Ice Beam, and then switching into the Sire. Lucario, get to the EQ. Getting to the EQ. This is going to be rest in peace to Mr. Lucario. Getting absolutely demolished. And the opponent concedes the match. Let's go. All right. Hop into the next one. This man is getting amazing leads and gets an Obstagoon. That's absolutely huge. An Obstagoon. Are they double weak? Why are they staying in here? This Ostagoon is getting absolutely shredded. Got the boost and died instantly. What do they have in back? They have an Azu. He's definitely going to be able to get off these two rock slides, I would imagine. Although a bubble came through, so now maybe not so much. And switches into the Melmetal. Ooh, this, this feels like a Hydro Pump. Oh, no, that's not good. <laughs> oh, no. At least Melmetal can fire back with Thundershock and Rock Slides, but man, Hydro Pump is absolute pain. Gets the 1 HP Rock Slide. That is big. This is going to be getting that Azu quite low. Unfortunately, does get fainted down. Coming in with the Shadow Machamp does have a Cross Chop loaded, and Cross Chop would be enough to take it out from this range. Does get a shield. CMP, I like this. Let this go. Mud Shot down with Quagsire. Give Quag a shield. And it's, what? Why didn't they? Okay, I'll be honest. I'm 100% at a loss. I don't know why he stayed in with Obstagoon. That was definitely the incorrect play when he had two fairies in the back. Definitely should have switched out of there. All right, Shadow Machamp into Swampert. All right, so this is definitely more of a negative lead for sure because Shadow Machamp... It does hit hard, but it is absolute glass. So you really have to shield every charge move coming through because, oh my goodness, Hydro Cannon will absolutely end you. The nice thing is these counters are adding up quite a bit, but as you can see, it does get outpaced to the second one. So maybe, but can't really catch on Quagsire or Melmetal, but able to counter down, no way. Oh my goodness, that is nicely done very nicely done there and now going for the rock slide this will come close to KOing does get the shield goes into Melmetal and they're not switching out <laughs> able to get to the rock slide before they can switch out rock slide's gonna do a lot of damage and are they just gonna quit here yeah that does not surprise me <laughs> that does not surprise me Ooh, superior here we go and it's shiny so it probably has the community day move frenzy plant I'm super curious to see this matchup because Superior is notoriously extremely bulky. And Shadow Machamp can struggle in neutral matchups where the opponent is very bulky. Superior is actually going to throw, maybe they go Leaf Tornado here, trying to get a debuff. They go for an Aerial Ace, definitely not what you want to throw. That was a choice, okay. <laughs> they bring in Bastodon into a fully loaded Melmetal. Not the decision I would have made, but hey, maybe they misclicked or maybe their backline is just that weak, but just gets absolutely whooped. I'm guessing that was a misclick on their part. Unfortunately, they probably meant to come into the Azu because Bastodon got absolutely slaughtered. But either way, even if they don't bring in the Bastodon there, the, the team has triple Bastodon counter, so either way, Bastodon's not going to have a very good day. But since he has switch advantage and two shields, oh, that was a really nice catch of the Earthquake onto Superior. 
Fantastic job there, but able to bring back in the Shadow Machamp, counter down, and Azumarill just quits, and it's a two shield flex. You love to see it. Shadow Gardevoir, absolutely horrible lead. Safe swaps into Melmetal, and they bring out a Shadow Vic. Ooh, this is. Normally you're like, hey, it's a uh, steel type versus a grass type. It's got to be good, right? But look at the Razor Leafs. The Razor Leaf damage is absolutely crazy. I do like the shield here because hopefully you can get to this and maybe another superpower if you're lucky. Come on, get to the move, get to the move. Oh, able to even get to another rock slide there. So they're gonna be able to force that second shield, which is great. And now they can come back in with the Machamp, farm all the way down, and then they're just going to bail into Quagsire to close out the match. They have Gardevoir and they have a Bastodon. Bastodon has nowhere to run on this team. Beautiful over farm, shielding up, and Quagsire is probably gonna farm up to 100 before they launch this EQ. And now going straight for the Earthquake. This is going to be bye-bye Bastodon and then able to get to the Stone Edge versus the Shadow Gardevoir, and that's going to be bye-bye Gardevoir. So Shadow Quagsire with shields down. Oh my goodness. The closing power is insane. Shadow Swampert lead. Again, as we've seen, apparently it can counter down and win the twos, which I actually wasn't familiar with. I don't run a lot of Shadow Machamp, but that is super interesting because I just assumed it was a bad matchup, but if you can just counter down it and win the two shield, then this is actually not a bad matchup at all. And they switch in a Pelipper, countering with Melmetal. Look at the Thundershock damage. Thundershock is, is a very low damage fast move, but it's hitting for double super effective. So it is doing absolutely crazy damage and you can let these go, absolutely. Weather Ball, that's fine. Going to have to shield the second one when it does come through if they do want to preserve switch advantage. They are gonna shield that up, that makes quite a bit of sense. And going after over farming by one Thundershock, going for the Rock Slide that is going to get the KO. All right, let's see what they do decide to come in with. They come in with the Swampert and throw, that makes a lot of sense. At this point, you definitely just let this go. And then you come back in with the Shadow Machamp. They have a Mew in the back, going for a Rock Slide. This is going to hurt the Mew. Ooh, big damage. And bringing in the Quagsire. They're forced to throw. If it's a Grass Knot, just well played, but Wild Charge, yeah. Shadow Quag can take a Wild Charge, and the opponent concedes the match. Let's go. All right. Hopping into the next match, another Shadow Swampert. We've seen a lot of Swampert leads so far. Has to shield up, of course, because those Hydro Cannons do crazy amounts of damage. And now going straight for the Cross Chop. Cross Chop, of course, does get the shield. And as we can see, it's looking like that he should be able to fully counter down and win the two shield, which would be very, very nice. Going for another Cross Chop, this will more than likely be getting the shield, which it does. And oh, maybe it's just a better IV Swamper, but this one actually able to get to the last Hydro Cannon. So nicely done there, and Melmetal comes into Thundershock down. They have a Galvantula in the back. Oh man, they must be so weak to Melmetal in the back if Galvantula is their best answer. Oh no, and catches on to Quagsire. Oh, beautifully done, bravo. They have a Bomb of Snow in the back, able to get to the Stone Edge. This is a good day, Mr. Obama Snow. Thank you for playing. Obama Snow actually lived out with one HP. Whoa, Galvantula comes in just to quit. Again, Shadow Quagsire Closer is crazy. Unova Stunfisk, a very underutilized Pokemon and honestly one that I think has a lot of play. It just doesn't get a lot of love because everyone's out here running Galarian. Charge Poop coming through, deciding to call it. It's a Mud Bomb, which is nice. Mud Bomb, of course, is gonna do less than Discharge. Discharge hurts quite a bit more. Shielding it up is another Mud Bomb. They counter down here, and they bring out a Skarmory. Counters with Melmetal, and Melmetal, while Squishy, is a really nice wall to Skarmory. Able to land the Rock Slide, Charge Move coming through. I believe this is just the Sky Attack, if I counted right. Yep, just the Sky Attack, chilling there and now can really easily get to that next rock slide. And now the opponent does have a difficult decision to make here. They do decide to shield it up, 
and now they're going for another charge move. Yeah, the Melmetal can survive this since it's another Sky Attack. So, I mean, it gets the Melmetal low, but it still doesn't win them Switch Advantage unless they commit both shields, which they do not. However, it may put it into farm down range. Oh, and it does not. Able to get to a superpower versus Unova Fist. So unfortunately, the opponent's gamble did not pay off, but they are gonna shield. And then the quick swap into Shadow Machamp to snipe Unova Fisk and waste all that energy. Absolutely beautiful. Bastodon comes in, but able to get to another cross chop. Let's see how much this does to Bastodon. <laughs> does absolutely stupid damage. Quagsire comes in. And Bastodon gets mud shot down. No, this man has a family. All right, another horrible lead with a Wigglytuff and safe swapping into Melmetal. And a very nice catch on the charge move into an Azumarill. So already we've seen two fairies, so they're either gonna have to have a very hard punish to a steal, or this is just a triple fairy meme team. All right, Rock Slide does get the shield. So, Shadow Machamp is already looking basically useless here. Decides to let it go. Nicely done there. Unfortunately, even this Rock Slide is not going to be enough to KO. Azu is just so incredibly beefy. And actually, they double shield the Azu instead of their Charmer. I think that's a mistake by, by this opponent, to be 100% honest. Is I mean, you get some nice utility out of Azu, but double shielded Charmers will probably serve you a lot better. Coming in with the Shadow Machamp to farm down and maybe get some utility out of it. They're going to bring back in the Charmer, get to the Rock Slide. Okay, I like this because this actually gets some usage out of Shadow Machamp and then you just bail into Quagsire. They bail into Quagsire, they're not switching out here. Is he going for the Mud Shot down? If so, that is an absolutely savage play to, to Mud Shot down a Wigglytuff. And it's a Clefable, it is Triple Fairy Meme Team. All right, Earthquake. <laughs> Earthquake does crazy damage. Unfortunately, gets farmed down there. Shadow Machamp. Oh, I don't think he's quite going to be able to pull it off. Oh, he did. Oh, let's go. <laughs> oh, I didn't think he had that one. All right, very nice deferral there to lead it off. And baits out a Scrafty. Should be able to get a shield or two thanks to these superpowers with the Scrafty. Gets the shield. Nicely done there, and it's going to be able to do a nice amount of chip damage versus this Scrafty. Scrafty decides to throw the power up punch. Interesting. They probably could have countered down, and that may have actually been the slightly better play. Then you have more energy to throw at the Shadow Machamp, and now he, he just gets farmed down. So there's not a whole lot he can do there. But with Wigglytuff, you can go cross chop because that at least hits for heavy neutral, and it's time for Quag. Oh, yes. Unfortunately, with Shadow. It does boost its attack, but it lowers its defense, so it's doing quite a bit. They're able to take it out. What's in back? Oh, it's a Mandibuzz. Okay, it's Stone Edge time. All right, big Stone Edge here. It's definitely going to get shielded, though, unfortunately. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay, okay, this is good. Come on, Quag, you got this. Shields up the Dark Pulse. Okay, just don't get farmed down. Able to get to another Stone Edge here. All right, we really need this Mandibuzz to throw, and they throw. Okay, let this go, and then you just come in with Machamp, and I think a cross chop kills here. Come on, Machamp. Come on, Machamp. Able to get to the cross chop and able to take the win. I was stressing these last couple battles, but able to pull it off. Oh my goodness. So anyways, thank you so much for the battle submission. These were a ton of fun. Shadow Quagsire, man. I didn't know what I was missing out on. I apparently have to go track one down because this thing hits crazy hard. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new and you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't. The love on the channel has been absolutely crazy lately, so thank you guys oh so very much. And a special thank you to our members here on YouTube. The support you guys give is absolutely amazing. So thank you guys oh so very much. And I've been Home Slice Henry.